Welcome to my fish room. Okay, so the tape stopped a while ago. I don't know how long. So, anyhow, we found this whole bunch of snails. They're all in a cluster. I just don't know what kind they are. So, would you come put them over here? Yeah, the electricity is back on. Uh, to uh, get some of the so, whatever we decide on a pump or a filter, how long do they take to get? And Next day. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, right. they're mostly in stock. Okay. Like, we deal with the bigger uh, places and stuff. Okay. Although, I'm really depressed. My one wholesaler is up uh, just in the northwest corner of Toronto. They're moving all the way to Orangeville now. Oh. See, I used to work there 20 some years ago, and I've been going there pretty much oh. once or twice a week for the last 20 some years. Oh, so we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Orangeville is nice. Yeah, but I don't go through Orangeville. I go past there on the way to customers on Monday, so yeah. it's Canadian. But when I used to work there, it was all open fields, yeah. and now it's all built in. Yeah, I go to Orangeville a couple times a month. Well, you know where the water tower is? They're going to be behind it. The yeah. one by the uh, TSC. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you're in behind that. Uh, yeah, I know. No, I know. But you see, Dave, he works there, and he doesn't like the city. So he's happy because he'll be able to move even further north and still go to work. Find somewhere. But I'll figure it out. Alright, those cattails better than the ones that I tucked over there? Like, to make me a little Did I say you could use my credit card? I don't recall saying you could use my credit card.
So it's two to seven, that's five hours at 65? Yeah, so 300 and uh, okay. 25. Okay, and then we'll, um, we'll look at some options. Yeah, well, we got the catalog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're, when you're, uh, yeah well, um, one thing that we can do is uh, see all these boots, they yeah. will go back up again. So rather than have these trying to keep them upright, we can always just bury these roots underneath the rocks and then the cattails will grow straight. Because okay. otherwise, like they won't be straight. Alright, well then let's do that and just put it on the other side. I yeah, think. so let's just pack these down and then we'll put them all on the other side. Good. Okay. So, um, up north, uh, cottage. Yeah. The beach area. Yeah, yeah. We have cattails. Yeah. Now they come up every year, I do nothing to them. Yeah. But there's still there's dead ones that are rolled over yeah. and messy. So I should chop them down in the spring? Yeah, in the spring go out before anything started and chop it all down. Yeah. And that way it grows up and all the green are nice and everything pretty. Okay. And um, I have a crap load of different colored lilies out there on the lake. Yeah. Can I move them? Yeah. Yeah, basically uh, the best time to move them is in early spring. Okay because that way all their energy is stored as starches in the root. Okay. And uh, you'll still get flowers. If you move them during the summer, you won't get flowers that year, you'll get flowers the next year. Sarasa. So you don't want to get the fan tails because they swim too slow and too many things to need them. Yeah. Those are the big fat ones? Yeah. Isn't one of those white ones kind of like that? Vegetarians are all true vegetarians, though. Might as well turn this off. Did you hear about that uh, organization of vegan doctors down in the States that want to have milk removed from the schools? 
They don't think that people should be eating or drinking anything from an animal. Everybody needs a hobby. Well, I dated a naturopathic doctor. She said that the dairy industry is spreading myths and everything that milk isn't as good for you as uh, they tell you. But my father was a dairy farmer. I drink like three glasses of milk each meal. Yeah. Him and I will go through a two liter uh, milk box that just is a truck for the day. Hmm. But my girlfriend's Spanish and she can't drink milk because it's only the Northern Europeans that developed the gene to drink milk into adulthood. Like Chinese people, African people, Spanish people, they're all lactose intolerant. Yeah, yeah it's like in Cuba, and they give all the kids are the kids are allowed milk up until a certain age, and it's paid for, yeah. and then it stops. Well, in Guatemala, they used to get uh, food aid from Canada. They really liked it when they got the penguin cheese. And they knew it was made from penguins because it had pictures of penguins on it. Right. So Hortensia, she liked the penguin cheese. And then I explained we don't even have penguin cheese. <laughs> and they don't make cheese from them. Yeah. You don't recommend turtles, I assume, in a pond? Will they eat All fish? depends how fast your fish are. And you can't keep the red ear sliders out over winter, although some of them got naturalized in High Park. Yeah. But you don't want them because they're going to push out the native turtles, and you can't buy and sell the native turtles anyhow. Okay. But basically, they'll eat your fish if they can. Yeah. Oh, look at that root ball. Yeah, cattails are really good at making dirt. I had a customer that uh, he had a pond dug, cattails came in, and in about three years he had no more pond. Just, just filled it in because uh, it stops the silt from flowing through. It just grabs it, and fills just up, fills up. Makes huge mats, and he also had some kind of pond weed. He had this cutter thing that he dragged behind the boat. Oh, yeah, I actually know that. He had a lot of money. Probably and not as much as Moses, though. No. Well, the American uh, Obama wiped him out.